On August 30th, the city of Sichuan province was hit by heavy rain again. The resulting flood has been described as a once in 70 years flood. Weeks of heavy rainfall have resulted in record high water levels and the highest level of emergency response has been activated. There is no indication that the floods will recede anytime soon. For the city of Lashan, it is a 71 meter high statue that makes the city famous around the world. The statue, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, was carved from a mountain rock surface around the 8th century AD. It is located very close to a merge point of three rivers. One of the three rivers is the largest tributary of the Yangtze River. On August 18th at 6 a.m., due to heavy rains and flooding from upstream, the water level rose over the platform at the foot of the giant Buddha, and the statue's toes were submerged. Chinese official media reported that this was the first time since 1949 that the toes of the Buddha had been submerged. The Buddha is the tallest stone statue in China and a very popular tourist attraction in the southwestern portion of the country. At noon, the platform at the foot of the Buddha was flooded by about 2.5 meters of water and some rivers began to back up. The lower part of the city of Lashan was completely submerged, forming a reservoir. It has been reported that the giant Buddha statue has its own drainage system, including two levels of drainage channels in the ears and behind the neck. So there should be no major damage to the giant Buddha itself. It demonstrates the high level of workmanship that the ancient Chinese had in the 8th century AD. Construction began in 713 AD, during the first year after Emperor Zhuanzhang, the second emperor of the Tang Dynasty, succeeded to the throne. The Tang Dynasty was the richest and most powerful era in Chinese history. The construction of the giant Buddha took 90 years. During this time, the belief in Buddha was very popular. The Lashan giant Buddha is the image of the Maitreya Buddha. In Buddhism, Maitreya is the future Buddha who can bring happiness and light. The news of the toe of the giant Buddha being submerged has cast a psychological shadow over the local residents and the local government. There is a local saying in the city of Lashan, if the giant Buddha washes his feet, the city will not be able to sleep, which means that if the water flows over the platform of the giant Buddha, the city of Lashan will be flooded. There is also an even more shocking saying, the world will be in chaos if the giant Buddha washes his feet. Having worked as an investigative reporter in Sichuan for 10 years, plus three years as an independent reporter, I am not a superstitious person, but I was a bit shocked when I saw this photo in the past few days. When I was on a business trip to Lishan in 2006, an old man there said to me, the world is in chaos as the Buddha washes his feet. The tweet prompted a number of Chinese netizens to respond. One responded, I went to the giant Buddha in Lishan 20 years ago, and I was told by the locals that the Buddha could not have its feet washed. When saying this, they all looked terrified. Chinese official media reported that the government has been sending people to pile up sandbags overnight as the water level rises, but the Chinese netizens believe such effort was done because the government is trying to prevent the flooding of the Buddha's toes, but they could not stop this from happening. It was the first time since 1949 that the Buddha's toes were flooded. The announcement that this had occurred was first made by the local administration of the Lashan Buddha scenic area. According to Taiwanese journalist Huang Chuang Sha, the most recent time when the Buddha's toes were flooded was in 1949, the year when the Chinese Communist Party gained power and established the People's Republic of China, and the Republic of China, ROC, retreated to the island of Taiwan. The same year, serious natural disasters occurred in China. Drought, frost, insects, wind, hail, floods, epidemics, and other disasters occurred one after another, floods being the most serious. The affected population was about 4.55 million, 1% of the population, and food production was reduced by 11.4 billion pounds. Chinese history books have recorded that for thousands of years, the giant Buddha has had lots of supernatural things occur around it. The most famous occurrence was during the period spanning 1959 to 1961. This was during the Three Year Famine, a time when many people died of starvation in Sichuan.
Many local people have witnessed a strange incident. They witnessed the giant Buddha statue suddenly closing its eyes overnight. The authorities had organized experts to investigate the case, but no one could explain the phenomena. Photos of the Buddha closing his eyes are still on display at the Lishan Buddha Museum. The next time the giant Buddha closed its eyes was in 1963, shortly after the Great Famine, when political conflict was extremely intense and the God-making campaign for Mao Zedong began, which eventually led to the Ten-Year Cultural Revolution. According to reports, the Big Buddha not only closed his eyes, but also shed tears. The government was so terrified by the photo of the Buddha in tears that it spent 40 million yuan to cleanse the Buddha, but the evidence of the tears could not be wiped away. In July of 1976, a 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck the northern Chinese city of Tangshan. The authorities announced that 240,000 people had died, while some Chinese researchers estimated that upwards of 750,000 people had died in the earthquake. At this time, people in the Shan city found that the giant Buddha once again closed its eyes and wept. When reporting on the flood, the mainland official media often repeatedly claimed that it was a natural disaster, as if to avoid the public's association between the government and the flood. The flooding on the toe of the giant Buddha receded two days later, but the effects are far from subsiding. The news has sparked discussions on many Chinese websites, but most of the discussions have now been deleted. China has a long history of belief in gods and goddesses, and people often call on the god of heaven when in big difficulties. Even Xi Jinping, the top leader of the Chinese Communist Party, mentioned the god of heaven recently during his visit to Anhui province, which was recently flooded. To a certain degree, the flooding of the toes of the great Buddha in Lashan has turned a natural disaster into a supernatural sign or warning. For the atheist Chinese Communist Party, it seems now they have a new and very powerful opponent, God of Heaven.